This video will demonstrate how to use RMS Connect to set up a remote SFTP connection to your AND device. Remote SFTP allows you to securely reach files on your AND device through SFTP protocol by using the device connected to RMS. Before we start the configuration, make sure you have SFTP server configured. Have the IP address, password, and know the port. Also, you have the AND device connected to the RMS device. First, let's connect to RMS. Next, move the mouse cursor to RMS Connect on the left sidebar and select Remote SFTP. In the new window, move the mouse cursor to the top and click Add New Remote. You will get two options, Auto and Manual. Let's start demonstration with Auto Scan by selecting RUTX11 device. Let's select the IP, then the SFTP port and click Add. You will get success message. A newly created SFTP connection will appear on the screen. You can edit, delete, and check Teltonica Network's device information by clicking these icons. Now let's delete the connection and try the manual option. Before filling out the details, you may go over these question marks for additional information. Enter the name for SFTP connection. Enter the IP address for your end device. Then set the SFTP port. Default one is 22. Finally, pick your RMS connected device and to finish, click the Add button. We now have another remote SFTP connection. To connect, click on the name of the connection or anywhere on the general highlighted area. Clicking the connection name will open the device access window. Clicking on general highlighted area will open a window with the complete SFTP connection information. In this window, to start the connection, you can click on the Connect button. Connection established. Or you can specify the preferred connection duration. RMS will create a shareable connection link. You can open the link in the model window, copy to the clipboard, or delete it. Click on that link. Let's enter the authentication information. We are connected. You can perform various operations with the files and folders. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like our video, subscribe, and follow us on social media channels. Be sure to check other tutorials by Teltonica Networks.